to another session of Talk and Flow. Today we have with us um, Flora. She's the founder <laughs> from Pots and Tots, a um, London-based company that delivers very tasty homemade food uh, to your door. And they have sustainable packaging, I, which I, I think is very cool. <laughs> uh, maybe, Flora, you want to introduce yourself and tell, tell us a little bit more uh, about yourself. Um, maybe also about Pot for Thoughts. Uh, Pot for Thoughts, what motivated you to start with this business? Yes, definitely. Hello, hello everyone. Um, I, um, so I'm a mom of a two-year-old little boy, Toby. Um, I'm living in Balham in London and with my fiance, Charlie, um, who are hopefully getting married in July if all goes to plan. Um, but you never know. With, the, with all the rules, you never know. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I started Pots for Tots last year when I was made redundant during the pandemic. And it was, it was mainly because I was kind of struggling with having a full-time job and then in the evenings getting home, picking up Toby from nursery and then having to cook him some kind of amazing, healthy, nutritious meal in the evening when he's going to bed in kind of an hour's time and you don't have that much time in the evenings. So I looked around for kind of options to get him and try the supermarket meals and none of them were that tasty. They didn't taste homemade in any way. So I looked for other options and there really wasn't that much out there. So I thought, when I try and start something myself <laughs> and it seems like other parents wanted it too so yeah it's been really good so far. I mean it's, it's really amazing I mean in our case it was a little bit also like that uh, in the middle of the pandemic we kind of found that uh, I mean we wanted, wanted to share uh, also our struggles um, uh, I mean, specifically with food, I, I, I guess, because I mean, the beginning is so important for our children to, you know, like it's a whole window of opportunities for them to get to know uh, all the foods, the food groups, and yeah, later on then um, develop a good eating habits. Definitely. Uh, yeah. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about uh, your products and um, also a little bit about your packaging. I, I'm curious about that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that was a big, oh God, packaging is, is a nightmare trying to find good packaging that's also recyclable. Um, so yeah, I, oh God, I spent days and days looking for, for the right packaging. But we found these little craft soup pots. So they're made out of cardboard or well, paper actually. Um, mm. And they're, yeah, they're all recyclable. And the good thing about them is because they're designed for soup they don't there's no spillage or anything like that so they're mm -hmm. very secure and and airtight um and they they freeze and yeah it's great so every it takes all the boxes in the end they microwave um so those are the little pots i i could go and get one to show you but I'll, maybe i'll do that at the end um and uh yeah so the products are um the yeah they're little pots of food so the kind of cottage pies lasagnas risottos and they're kind of all homemade. I was cooking them myself at the beginning, but I've now got a professional chef cooking them. Um, and yeah, we package them all up and then we freeze them straight away to keep all the nutrients. And then we send them out to parents um, at the moment only in London, but we're going nationwide pretty soon, I hope. Um, so that they, they just receive these little pots of homemade meals and then they pop them in their freezers for when they need them, like if they need them right away or if they need them, you know, when they ha don't have time or they're going out or they've got a babysitter, then they can just get them out and, and serve them straight to, the, to their child. And, and that, yeah. That, that sounds amazing. And uh, I'm also curious a bit about uh, your ingredients because I, I read uh, it's everything organic and maybe uh, where uh, you get all your products from. Maybe people are interested about learning a little yes. bit about that. So that's another massive thing for us is obviously the ingredients in the pots. So as well as kind of stuffing it full as many vegetables as possible, mm -hmm. uh, we usually do five or more in each pot. Um, we use kind of all organic vegetables from um, a local, well, you can't have it that local because we're in London, but it's just outside of London. Um, and they, yeah, they handpick the, their vegetables from the farm. Uh, well, actually, I don't think it's handpicked, but anyway, they harvest the vegetables from the farm and they send them straight to us. So it's literally from farm into the pots. Um, and then the other thing that we're really, in, like find really, really important is the meat. Um, 
I just am a massive believer in kind of responsible sourcing of the meat, make sure it's all organic, free range, you know, make sure they've had, you know, a good life. Um, and yeah, and then, um, yeah, and it's all from local British farms as well. So that's another big thing for us. That sounds amazing. And maybe you want to tell us a little bit what you think is um, the um, a unique value of your products? What do you think is that that make your products uh, so special? Well, to be honest, actually, before I started it, I realized there was a kind of gap in the market for people focusing on toddlers. So there's a lot of people doing baby food and there's a lot of people doing kids meals, but toddlers was kind of kind of missed out a bit. And I think one of the main reasons for this might be because toddlers are really fussy so they are really tricky to get the food right for um they'll just decide one day they don't like something that's green or they don't like something that's red and they'll chuck it on the floor and that will be kind of it but i think toddlers have kind of yeah people kind of leave them because they're like oh well we can't make food that toddlers are going to eat that you know whereas i was like i know that there's so many different ways of i've literally tried it with my son of getting them to eat new things there's so many tricks and if you've got the right food, um, then, you know, obviously there's some that won't do it, but there a lot of them will eat it um, if you have the time to kind of sit down and, and, and talk them through it and help, and help them through it. Um, so that, so that, was, that was quite exciting to have something that was in a way quite individual anyway. Um, but also a lot of people have done this kind of thing or maybe not this kind of thing, but they do their meals in trays and pots is quite a new kind of a new thing. There's lots of kind of trade frozen mm -hmm. food that you can slip in your freezer. But I really wanted something that the baby could eat straight out of. So if you're going out to a friend's house and you just take the pot with you, you can pop, pop it in the microwave, heat it up, and then they can just eat straight from the pot. You don't have to even bring a, a bowl with you. Um, so that was another big thing. Um, also, obviously, kind of all the ingredients being really high quality, the meat we really focus on is trying to make it really good. And yeah. All the, all the meals are quite country, traditional country, because I grew up in Somerset. So they're like, yeah, fish pies and lasagnas and stuff like that. So maybe that's had a bit of an influence on the on the menu. <laughs> it sounds great. Uh, thank you so much for explaining everything to us. And maybe you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what's your purpose with uh, Pots for Tots? Yes. Yeah, so my, 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 I have two main kind of aims. And... Yeah. Obviously, one of them is is pretty obvious, but it's to give parents kind of time back to spend with their children or just to spend with friends or to, to go out. And like, like I'm a young mom and I still want to go out and, you know, see friends and go to the pub or, or do whatever. And you sometimes just don't have time to to, to cook and do all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and and also just be like a lifeline. So like if they if they suddenly did realize they didn't have a meal, then they've just got it there in the fridge all the time. So yeah, definitely for that. And not just for people who don't have time to cook, but for people who don't like cooking. So for people who actually are like, I chose to be a parent, but I didn't choose to be a chef. Like I, I don't like cooking. So then they're, they're a lifeline for them. And then the other aim is to kind of make sure young children are kind of growing up eating nutritious food for every meal. Um, like children's food, is, their, their health is so important and how we kind of grow up, what we grow up eating will obviously kind of shape us for life, for life. So I think it is really important to make sure they're kind of getting all the nutrients they need in their diet. I mean, I feel super identified. I, I'm also a young mom. I, I have a two-year-old child. Uh, I think yours is also a little bit like... The Just same over two, thing. yeah. And so I, I completely understand where you come from. And I mean, it's really amazing to have these kind of options uh, when you want to make sure your children get the best. And uh, I mean, it, it looks that you have really put a lot of love and passion into these spots. And um, I hope I mean the best for you. And uh, we are happy to have you being part of our team of brands and experts and uh, yeah maybe you have an, an invitation for our followers uh, something you want to tell them maybe to follow you uh, to visit your website to maybe try out your uh, amazing pots <laughs> yeah definitely i yeah i'd love it if anyone wanted to follow our progress on instagram 
Um, we're planning to launch nationwide um, in the next few weeks. We're also launching a new website next week um, with a new checkout process. So if you're interested, then have a look next week on Thursday. That'll be launching. Um, and then also please yeah, reach out to me if you have any suggestions for me. So I love new ideas and any feedback that people have. So please yeah, me email me. There's um, my email address on my Instagram account, which is at Pots for Tots with little underscores. Um, and yeah, and if you're a parent in London, then please try our meals and buy some. You don't have to just buy them for yourself. You could buy them for a friend who has children and just take some pressure off them um you know it's a nice gift <laughs> great thank you so much flora it was great having you today with us and yeah we wish you the best also now uh, for the new adventure going nationwide um yeah thank you so much for having Exciting me news. <laughs> oh so nice thank you okay so have a wonderful day you too thank bye. you bye